your son or daughter walk across the stage at graduation, of course, is one of those proud moments for parents. I've uh, been there on numerous mm -hmm. occasions. It really is. And built in the Blue Ridge this week is WSLS 10's Patrick McKee introduces us to the company that makes sure your child looks good on the big day. Caps and gowns are a large part of Oak Hall Cap and Gowns business, but robes are part of it as well. The company produces robes for judges, including all nine on the highest court in the land. Looking good for family and friends while making memories is the business of Oak Hall Cap and Gown in Salem. Oak Hall is a manufacturer of robes, so we produce, uh, we manufacture robes for high schools, uh, elementary schools, colleges, universities, and for judges. And in fact, uh, every Supreme Court justice wears our robe today. Oak Hall provides caps and gowns to about 40% of the nation's colleges and universities and 25% of high schools. It's quality that keeps the schools coming back year after year. Some of the gowns they make here come from recycled materials. They'll take plastic bottles and they'll crush these things down and grind it down into very small pieces and then stretch that out to make your thread. 23 bottles makes one gown. They kept 50 million bottles out of landfills. Each area of the business, uh, everyone becomes an expert. The, the product changed over the years. President Joe D'Angelo says the reason behind the company's success stays the same, loyal employees. Key to success, first of all, is having um, very strong employees. And our employee base is probably the best uh, maybe I'm prejudiced, but the best in this country. So loyal that one person has worked for Oak Hall for over 50 years. They say loyal because they know they'll be taken care of. In the company's 126 year history, it has never laid off a single employee. It's important that Oak Hall show our commitment to our employees to say you're important enough that we have to find employment for you 52 weeks a year. The workforce continues to grow with the company. It has production facilities in Salem, Chilhowie, and Withville, and soon a new plan in Independence where 100 new employees will work. It's an expansion that caught the attention of Governor Terry McCollum. And for the governor to take time out of his busy schedule to recognize us um, was very, very humbling and uh, rewarding. Even more rewarding are the faces of graduates on their big day. The amount of pride and excitement um, stemming from that major achievement really makes our job very rewarding. Quality American made memories built in the Blue Ridge. The company makes nearly 3 million gowns every year that ship to schools all across the country. For WSLS 10, I'm Patrick McKee. So, how about that Supreme Court? All right, next Monday, Patrick takes us to Martinsville to introduce us to Solid Stone Fabrics. That's a company bringing manufacturing and textiles back to Southside. By the way, if you have an idea for Built in the Blue Ridge, let Patrick know about the company. You can reach him through email or Facebook.